Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? In today's video, it's kind of like a part two video to the video I just did on my main channel, Self Talk. Y'all should go check it out. I'll have that link in the description box for y'all. That being said, man, I just want to get my opinion about what Malika Andrews said right here. I heard that Shanae used that's just rattling around in my brain, accountability. I'm not sure how that gets grasped back for Brooklyn. Uh, because it, it's not lost on me that Ime Udoka has done incredible things with the Boston Celtics. But it just seems like if we're having this conversation about Ime Udoka being hired by Brooklyn, where he was an assistant coach, accountability is the word I keep coming back to. Where is the accountability to women in the NBA? Zach, what do you make of this? Look. Okay, so she's talking about Ime Udoka. I hate the fact that she put out this false narrative. Accountability. What about the women in the NBA? Um, Malika, last time I checked, that situation happened in Boston. Last time I checked, it was consensual. Last time I checked, that situation got handled. He was held accountable for his actions, was he not? He got suspended. His pay got docked. He got publicly humiliated. So, like, what does she mean about accountability? Like, what more do you want? You don't want this man to have a job? This man have kids, Malika. The fuck you want this man to do? He was held accountable for his actions. What the fuck? Is he supposed to do prison time or something? Like, what, what would she like to see? Like, I, I really wish they would just give Malika the floor just one day. Malika, here, you run the show. Give us your thoughts on all this shit. Because I would really love to see how she really feels about this shit. Like, what the fuck is he supposed to be held accountable for? He got suspended. Publicly humiliated. His girlfriend had to um come out and make statements. Me alone. His family saw that shit. Everybody saw the shit. Boston put it on blast to make an example out of him. Got suspended. Pay got docked. What more do you want from this man? You know, like, so it's like, then you got people like Malika. Y'all keep pushing this false narrative on this dude. Like, he's some type of predator or whatever the fuck. It's just like, come on, man. Is he not supposed to get a job anywhere else? Now, I already see a lot of the blogs talking about, oh, Brooklyn Nets don't care about the women in the facility. If they didn't care about the women, then why the fuck are they hired then? Why are they hired if they don't care about the women in Brooklyn Nets facility? Those women is not the women he had sexual relationships in Boston. So, okay, you mean to tell me now, Boston hired a new coach? That mean that, you know, the other woman, right? Let's, help, let's hold her accountable now. Let's hold her accountable. So that means Boston doesn't care about the males in a facility if they go hire a new male coach come on man y'all gotta start calling this shit down the middle call this shit a spade a spade or just stop and stop letting malika andrews on these televised platforms man and pushing out these narratives man um this is sickening bro like it's it's very just like it's it's nasty it's gross that's her little word like this shit is just disgusting man like i, I just don't get it i really don't get it like, what more do you want out of Emi Yadoka? He made a statement already. He apologized. Nia Long made a statement. She um, said that they was going to address the issue in-house. They seem to still be together or working out their issues. Um, So, like, it's like they wanted this man to lose everything, bro. I think Boston really wanted this man to lose every fucking thing. I showed it in my video. Y'all can go check it out. Just said for the most part. You would just hear about the guys being fired and then they can go find a job elsewhere. You know, we never seen somebody in an organization come out and put his business out on front street like that. Like, it's just unheard of. Stephen A. Smith said he's been covering sports for 25 years and never seen anything like that. So to me, you know, that that's crazy. They tried to make an example out of that man. And you got people like Malika Andrews still want to push the fucking narrative. So. I'm starting to think like did he sleep with Malika allegedly Did they have her relationship allegedly or does she want him allegedly 
allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. That's all I got for y'all in today's video, man. Um, I just want to get my thoughts on this on self talk news. Just gotta get a video out on here. And um, with that being said, guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Self talk news, man. I'll holler at y'all, man. Make sure y'all go click this video right in here that y'all see and go watch the full breakdown of this video. Salute y'all. I catch y'all on the next one. We out.